Eliud Kipchoge is the greatest of all time when it comes to marathon. But what might be his secrets of success? Here is the top eight secrets of success as he outlined them during his speech at the Oxford Union in 2018. Uh, and I want to say actually, all what I have done is due to some factors. As, as I am saying always, you cannot, in order for you to be successful, you need to consider some factors. One is self-discipline. Secondly is uh, very well preparation. Thirdly is uh, well, you should be well organized. Fourthly is it is you should think positive. Fifth is actually uh, working with people. Let me start with self-discipline. Uh, I can say is self-discipline starts with you. It's not the other person. It starts with you. Start to examine yourself. And when you start to examine yourself, so self-discipline means it's doing what's right rather than doing what you feel like doing. That's the meaning of self-discipline. Uh, after actually accommodating self-discipline in your mind, self-discipline can help you in, to actually get three things. It can save your feelings, get, back, get you on, back on the course. When you, when you try to think otherwise, then when you are self-disciplined, you can easily come back and think positively. It helps you to think, to actually do the right thing in the moment for long-term benefits. How can you handle this self-discipline? How can you cultivate this self-discipline? One is that you, sh you should stick to your priorities. Secondly is that don't make excuses. When you have decided to do something to it, no excuses, then you are self-disciplined. That is that learn to say no, and that's final. Fourthly is that uh, you make discipline your lifestyle. Discipline is not one-time event. Self-discipline is like building your muscle. It's like going to the gym. You cannot go to the gym today and build your muscle. You should get a program and go slowly by slowly. That's the way to build your muscle. And that's the way discipline, that's the way you can hand and cultivate your, uh, your self-discipline. Remember, only the disciplined ones are free in life. I repeat again. Only the disciplined ones are free in life. If you are in discipline, you are a slave to your moods. You are a slave to your passions. That's a fact. Remember there is a quote which says, it's not even a quote, but uh, there is a sign which is there in one of the Nazareth schools in Canada. It is place, the best time to plant a tree was 25 years ago. That was the best time to plant a tree. It's there in the, in the walls, in the wall of that Nasser school in, in Canada. The best, the second and the best time is today. Plant the tree of self-discipline. I repeat again. When you visit that school, that Nazar school, that kindergarten school in, in, in Canada, it's written, the best time to plant a tree 
was 25 years ago. But the second and the best time to plant a tree of self-discipline is today. Today is that yet. It's the best time for you to plant a tree of self-discipline. Second factor on how to be successful is planning and preparation. Remember in sport, I believe in a philosophy whereby it says to win actually is not important. To be successful is not even important. But how to plan and prepare is critically crucial. That means when you are prepared very well, when you plan very well, then success can come on your way. Then winning can come on your way. Thirdly is that uh, you should get organized in what you are doing. Fourth is that uh, you should actually think positive. In any profession, you should think positive. That's the driver of your mind. If, you, if your mind is really thinking positive, then you are on the right track. Remember it says, uh, pleasure in what you are doing it was, is what puts perfection in your work. That was, the, uh, that, that was a quote by Aristotle. Fifth is uh, teamwork. I am here because of teamwork. I am here because sport is a mutual interest. I am here to talk of my success because I am really, uh, I am really, I am really on to uh, teamwork. Teamwork actually helps a lot. Remember, in sport we have what we call the Eros formula. And if you are a hero, then you have a, a formula. And that formula says, 100% of myself is nothing compared to 1% of the whole team. And vice versa. That's 1% of the whole team is nothing compared to 100% of myself. And that's the meaning of teamwork. Sixth factor is consistency. The law of consistency. You should get motivated. And the motivation actually, motivation makes you to move. Motivation makes you to go forward. And in that motivation, if you want to be consistent, you should be, on the other hand, you should be disciplined. And what makes you to grow is discipline. And, di and when, you when you bring motivation and discipline, then you can be consistent. And when you combine all together, they say if you want to grow, consistency is the key. I'm confidently saying that consistency is the key if you want to grow in any profession. Be it sport, be it law, be it uh, all sorts of professions. If you are not consistent, you cannot go anywhere. But consistency makes you to grow. The seventh one is that uh, be comfortable with being uncomfortable or being comfortable with with being out of your comfort zone. Accept change. In other words, I'm saying change actually is important. I know it's uncomfortable, it's not really comfortable to, to adopt change, 
but change in life of a human being, in life of any profession, is really important. But in change, you cannot be forced. I can guess in this house we are between 100 and 150, but everybody has a key to the gate of each change. If you have opened your gate, hope wide and, well, and welcome ch change, then you are on the right direction. If you have closed the, the door and throw away the key, then you will not be comfortable. Change is an important thing. We should accept the change in any situation. The last factor is believing in yourself. Personally, I believe in what I am doing. To run a big marathon and win takes five months. But when, when I am in a starting line, my mind starts to ring what I've been doing for the last five months. I believe in my trainings. I treat myself as the best one in that life. Because my mind tells me you are the best and I am believing on what I've been doing for five, for five months. And I can run free. I can run free. And that's what actually has helped me to be successful. Uh, lastly is that uh, you should actually, by believing yourself, in May I believed on myself. And I ran against the unthinkable. The scientists in the whole world actually were busy in their laps and saying the first human being to run two hours or under two hours will be in the year 2075. 2075. We are still having 57 years for a human being to run two hours or under two hours. 57 years. But I approved them wrong last May. That by believing in yourself, I believe on myself and run unthinkable, the impossible. I trust that they are still in their loves and they are now thinking otherwise. I am a strong believer in, in believing what actually, if you believe what you are doing, then you will be successful. Uh, you know, it, it, took, it took me seven months of hard work, and actually not even hard work, I can say it was really hectic to think. And sometimes, you can sleep and wake up, and you thought it's six o'clock, but it's 11. But the seven months I trained to help me to actually consume all the tension, all the nervousness, and at the end of it, I achieved. For those few remarks, let me hand there and I will come back for Q&A. Thank you.